Hi! Omega Chaos Silicon, with another Death Protoal. This time it's my Neos Wiseman deck against Malefic Stun. It was pretty nice to have. Uh, this uh, video is pretty much a sneak preview to my Neos Wiseman deck for the Yubal Master is Yubal tech contest. So this deck in this way is a little bit different than my current version. But so yeah, let's see. So I think my opponent starts with uh pot of Tuarite. Reveals the Malefic Stardust, Necro Valley. Necro Valley is uh, yeah really good against my deck of course because I run of course a lot of revival cards. Like Limiter vs Call of Haunted and o Oasis of the Dragon Souls. I also, of course, ran Mono Bonkato in this deck, but eventually I took it out because it's, yeah, it's only good when you already have your Neos Wiseman on the field to protect it from uh, targeting effects. And of course, it can just protect you well as well, but still. So unfortunately my Laurel Chain gets bottomless at this point. Laurel Chain is very important for this deck to send the essential cards to the graveyard and to put Neos Wiseman to the top of the deck so you can get it. It's pretty much the only way uh, to yeah, get uh, Neos Wiseman without uh, drawing it uh, normally. Unfortunately, there are not any uh, searchers for Neos Wiseman. My opponent now summons Peace King Pyros. My opponent also ran Curse Seal of the Fobian spell, but uh, it's, it is pretty good against certain decks. Shadows, to, yeah, shut down the Shadow Fusion or Air Shadow Fusion. Or against Cliffords, of course, uh, shut down then uh, Clifford Scout. So uh, someone at Prisma, send Neos to Graveyard and copy the name. It, uh, Prisma is very essential for this deck, of course. Pretty much one of my main ways uh, to summon out Neos Wiseman is to basically revive your Yubal. If one of the revival cards, then normal summon your Prisma, uh, send Neos to Graveyard, copy the name, and then uh, turn someone Neos Wiseman from my hand by tributing both. So very nice. My opponent has both Malefics in their hand, but no, no Fjall spell. But eventually they get one, which yeah, kind of screws me over. So activate Limit Reverse, getting you back from the graveyard. Of course, the classic Limit Reverse Jubal combo to get a Terror Incarnate. So put the uh, Jubal. To defense, then Yuba's effect activates because it was destroyed by Limit Reverse. So uh, Yuba Theory Card definitely buys me some time in this duel. I'm not sure if I should have activated uh, Mode of Bomb Creator because, of course, then um, Malefic Cyber is also cannot be targeted or destroyed by the card effects. So, yeah, that was kind of a mistake by me. My opponent activates, activates, activates Necro Valley, which pretty much shuts down one graveyard, so that's not good. Right, summon Armageddon Knight. Put Shadow Mist to the graveyard. And get me Element of Hero Prisma again. Then I just attack. Uh, it can act, uh, effect activates, it pretty much uh, destroys uh, all monsters on the field except itself uh, in each of my end phases. So, yeah, definitely a really nice card. So, this currently is, uh, it is pretty much a standstill, no one really does anything, of course, because the only card is on the field. so. 
but this Neos Weissman deck has been working pretty nicely. It's definitely, I think, the best uh, Neos Weissman deck ever. I don't think you can really make it better. At least, uh, not much. Because, of course, uh, in order to summon Neos Weissman, you have to still give up two cards. So yeah, that's why Neos Weissman will never be very competitive. I'm definitely not expecting to win that uh, Ivan Master is contest, but uh, yeah. But I think that this deck is really good, for sure. Right, still a standstill. I draw the PLS, of course I run it in here, because uh, you have quite a lot of uh, light and dark monsters, so why not that? It's just so good, you know. Oh, I'm a plant. As ice sand, so yeah. That destroys my mode of the pawn crater. So hands are still pretty good. Against flood gates, at least, like when it's emptiness and skill drain. A pawn summons number 101, but of course, uh, a pawn cannot absorb my Yuval Tony Connet because it's in defense, so. I just end my turn again. I mean, yeah, I still can't activate my revival cards because of Necro Valley. I really have, have to get rid of it first. So I point activate Starkhole. The new Baltoni card effect activates summoning out Ultimate Nightmare. But my opponent has, of course, that torrential Chibot. So now I find someone saw the Malefic Cyber and Dragon. Yeah, really bad for me. But since, of course, uh, if that Malefic is on the field, uh, other monsters cannot attack, so I can uh, at least protect myself by setting a monster. Which is good. Pine flip someone's far hand. The opponent just attacks. Then I get myself a Neos Alius with um, Shadow Mist effect. Of course, I use Neos Alius because it can become a Neos by Gemini summoning it. And it's a 1900 attack beta, and you can also revive it with uh, that. Uh, Oh, or so to make some rank 4 plays or something. So I summon the foot on Thrasher. I spell someone foot on Thrasher and I normal summon Halius. Then make a Castle to get rid of that uh, uh, Necro Alley. Well, but definitely should have set 4 pin Chalice to negate the Castle's effect. But my opponent didn't. So now I have the opening to so make my play Revive well and uh, Neos with my revival cards and then someone out Neos Wiseman so very nice and then a small PLS as well to manage that firehand and then there is pretty much now game over because my opponent only has 4500 life points left so yeah very nice to add, definitely So, of course, uh, I, of course, uh, this deck uh, doesn't go very well against uh, Shatols or Burning Abyss or, or Cliffords, but uh, still it can definitely uh, hold uh, on its own against uh, other decks uh, that are below them. So, this is it for this Teplo Duel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. 
So definitely look forward to the Nails Voice One Tech Profile on Friday. So for now, uh, goodbye and Omakius out.